That was yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I felt like Diamando was in the room with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has some of that like um, like melancholy art song thing, yeah. but with like, uh, I mean, here with like a kind of a glitchy bed of stuff, but it's um, it's quite tuneful and, and sort of beautiful in like a, a kind of a way that I, like I often don't sort of do that or I mean the instruments I often play don't have pitch I'm using pitch there with a little keyboard but it's nice to sort of um luxuriate in that you know like it's it's uh yeah I mean what, what was your sort of experience of it I guess yeah I also don't often do this because I don't have access to like the PA system you know so when I'm toning or combining voices like it's in my headphones or something so I get to hear it that way or I sing with a choir, so we're all like doing strands. But um, yeah, I felt like we were, I don't know, I just felt like I was going into some grief. And <laughs> you were 
kind of holding down these like deeper underneath iceberg, like roots of iceberg feelings to me. I was like, deep mountains, deep roots, and I was like, oh, I just wanted to cry, and so, <laughs> <laughs> like, everything's melting, <laughs> and I was just like, oh, <laughs> it was like this expression of, like, grief and sorrow, but also other threads in there, too, hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, how, feeling. so how, how do you then manage, like, because I guess here with your setup, like, you've got your voice and the loop voice, and then, I guess there was some, the toy piano, and then, but at one point I heard like I guess some effects and some like sort of sin stuff in there as well but like you have multiple things that you can kind of do like how do you I guess how do you negotiate that in this performance or maybe in general like like when you're performing with extra stuff like let's say like not just solo or not just with a choir yeah I actually never performed this way so this right. is the first time I got to <laughs> unfold it like this mm-hmm. And I want to perform this way but I just never really get a chance to I guess because like yeah I Usually, if I perform, it's with a band right. and with many vocalists. So they're all doing what I like, you know, harmonizing sounds and everyone has their threads. Hmm. So this was actually my first experience of like just being able to go <laughs> into it and and figure out some things. Like when all the vocals felt too dry, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I was like, just plop something in there to make it a little more expansive, you know? Hmm. Yeah. Um yeah, so I hope to do more of this. And with that, like, I guess, how do you then... Because I guess if you're playing with bands, I know you do a bunch of choir stuff where it's a lot of voice, so it's, it's similar sounds or similar instruments. And roughly speaking, I mean, all, each voice is different, obviously. Like, we all have different qualities to our voice. But in terms of all the sounds that can exist in the universe, voice, it sounds kind of like voice, you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, like, here we had quite... Um, disparate sounds like I've got some kind of scritchy scratchy kind of things and like like quite uh, very different textures or very different timbres in terms of than like sort of like the melodic stuff that you were putting in and like for me because of the instruments I've, I've chosen here like I, I did have a lot of like this sort of sub kind of like throbby rhythmic like so it's rhythmic but not like explicitly like it wasn't a beat as such it was, yeah. it was like these pulses and stuff yeah um, and then some I can I was sort of decorating with some flourishes of of kind of glitchy pitches on top of that but like not at least for my part not joining in in the I guess a a strand or whatever like like I didn't I wasn't playing one of these melodies along with you I was sort of supporting areas around that Mm -hmm. um so I I guess with that like how 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 does it feel playing with like quite different timbres in that way maybe this is the question I was circling around poorly Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you were, you were circling it. You were bringing a lot into the space, and it wasn't poor. It's was rich. Um, yeah, no, I I guess when I listen to sound, I, I, like, feel different parts of the earth. So for me, I was like, oh, this is, yeah, like I said, like, this is the underworld. I'm mm. in the underworld now. And so it transported me to that place. So how do I translate, like, sounds of the underworld? And right. Yeah, so that's kind of often when I'm in music, I just feel like waterfalls, or I feel like leaves decaying, or I feel all sorts of like clouds moving across the sky, birds and twirling, and they all kind of become visuals, and I'm like, how do I express that in sound, or movement, because I do movement hmm. work too, yeah. So, so with that, actually, as kind of a pivot question on that, um, so there's nothing like, no words here, like no sort of no. language as such. But you're, you're, you're communicating a lot of information here in terms of, like, it's a rich set of ideas that, that was sort of bubbling up in the performance. How do you then transform that? Like, do you just sort of put that energy or that's what's in mind with these contours and then the things that you're thinking? Or, like, how do you negotiate with voice? Often you can have language, but not necessarily. Yeah, I guess it's, like, um, just, like, to direct translating, because I... I uh... I'm neurodivergent, so I'm often in a nonverbal place. Like I spend a lot of time that way, and um, sound has like helped me vo- vocalize things that I sometimes fail at with English language. You know, mm. so it really just lends itself over to like singing it. And mm. I had that experience before, where I'm like in a position of like stuckness, and then I don't know how to translated to somebody that I'm like with or intimate with or you know like deeply friends with and we're in a situation so I like sing it in sounds right. <laughs> yeah. and then 
like because of the friendship that's deep or lovership that's deep, they can translate what I'm meaning, you mm-hmm. know? And then, so that lends itself, like, I uh, feel such relief when I get into musical space because I'm like, oh. <laughs> 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 like, sometimes our words just, like, block all of the things, you know, like our essences, our yeah, you know, yeah. our wild gifts, our power, and all the things. And then when we get into that language and musicality, then I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. <laughs> I mean, I, I definitely agree with that. It, yeah, I, every I, musician does, right? Like, yeah. Just, yeah. And, and for me particularly, because I, I have a big part of my interest in what I like is improv and improvisation. And this, mm. often this sort of, like, we've never played before and, like, there's no context yeah. for what we're kind of doing here and, and sort of navigating that. I, I very much enjoyed that exploration. Like, obviously, like, the exploration of the material and the sounds in the space, but then also the kind of meta relationship on top of that of like, oh, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, what do you think? You know, yeah. like there's a, there's like another layer of things that are happening that I very much enjoy. Like that that's an aspect of, of performing with other people or even when I'm on my own that I really get into. Um, but it, it's interesting to hear you kind of articulate it because in the moment we, you started speaking about it, it was very um, almost poetic. Like, like mm-hmm. the language, like you kind of put language out there to conjure a lot of imagery of, of the sort of the vibe that we were there. Yeah. So... With that, it's it's almost like it. Would you say that like the sort of the iceberg or the decay or the melancholy are those words that describe like metaphorically a different feeling that that um you would perhaps struggle to have words for, or those words like in a post performance way are you sort of then harnessing like oh hey this is what I was feeling while we were playing. Hmm. Yeah, I I feel like. <sighs> Like, music gives, uh, like, brings energy into focus. And so, and we're all carrying different threads of, like, bigger essences, bigger mystery than ourselves, you know? And so we move it through ourselves and people translate it however they do. And I guess, yeah, there's people that see colors when they hear music, but I see earth and... Right. images and visions so it's directly like if you were playing something different i wouldn't have seen those icebergs okay right, I right. Have. <laughs> yeah if, if you were playing maybe peppery like lighter <laughs> shoes i would be seeing something <laughs> else you know <laughs> yeah um and so it is like it's a conversation because that began the conversation and i was like oh we're here this is yeah. where we're at and then i was like damn this is what i feel about that <laughs> 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 yeah yeah I don't know if I answered the question. No, 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 it, it's good. I, I, in, in that sense, it almost sounds like, like quite literal, like like these images and these feelings were like quite um, real in terms of that's where sort of you were transported or or um, not seeing in a literal sense, but like uh, the imagery was like a one level of metaphor. Like that's what you were talking about is that stuff, iceberg and decay and, and, and depth and subterranean and, and all of that, um, as opposed to that being like, because for me, like, I, I tend to think sometimes poetically, but often the language that I'll use will be a substitute for the, um, what that feeling actually is. So it's like, I'm, I'm trying to describe, it's like, it's squarish and it's got a shape and that's kind of all I know. Yeah. You know, but, but like what, what it actually is, is something beyond or above or below language that I can't effectively communicate. Yeah. 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 Work this place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good for an interview, but <laughs> <laughs> cool. Shall we? Shall we explore another wordless space? Yeah.
Dee <laughs> dee